Peace Soul. We got a brand new update from Spectrosonics for Keyscape, Omnisphere, and Trillion. Uh, it's called Flow Capture, just like you see here, Flow Capture. It's a brilliant idea. So basically what they're doing is, you know, say you have a, say it's a late night, say you just want some inspiration, or you just want to play some chords, or you want to play some chords and come back in the morning uh, and try to finish your, up your idea in a DAW. You don't need a DAW to do that anymore. Right now we got this new feature called Flow Capture. So what it is, I pulled up a Keyscape here, my favorite patch, the LA Custom Roads. You can change any settings here that you want to, and it'll keep those settings. I'll show you that, show you that a little later. But all you have to do is press this flow capture. You see it lights up red, so we're going to play something here right quick. All right? So we stop that. Now it asks you where you want to save this file. So what it's going to do is going to generate three files for me. Okay, so I created this folder called Keyscape Flow. You can create a folder wherever you want to. So we're going to save it. So what it did, what it did is it gave me three different files. Okay, it gave me a wave file. It gave me the MIDI file of everything I just played. So I get the wave, I get the MIDI, and this dot Keyscape is to bring up the exact patch. So if I change a bunch of settings here, when I go inside of my DAW and drag and drop this into Keyscape, it'll keep every setting that I had here when I created it. So in other words, I just that's why they call it flow capture, right? Because it captured all of my flow. Uh, so I'm going to show you what that looks like in the DAW now. Okay, so now we're back in our DAW. So I just pulled up uh, my, my DAW here. So now they give you the audio file. It's here. I can drag this wave in. Right, exactly what I just played. The magic is you also have the MIDI file, right? So I can take this MIDI file, drop it in my instance of Keyscape. Now, as I pull up, now as I pull up my Keyscape, as I pull up my Keyscape here, this .Keyscape file I just drag right in the Keyscape. Okay, I click OK. Brings up the exact patch that I was working with, with the exact settings I was working with, right? That's the beauty of this thing. And now that I have the MIDI in there, I can just play this MIDI. Right? Now, of course, with the MIDI, now I can I can put in a program. I can chop it. I can, if I want to play Omnisphere instead, maybe there's a maybe there's a patch in Omnisphere that I like that I might like better. Okay, I can play put that same patch in Omnisphere now that it's a MIDI file. So I have a WAV file, I have a MIDI file, and I have the exact settings. Uh, that I that I created with the exact patch settings and the patch that I created, fantastic, fantastic update. You know, just when you think these these programs can't get any better, Eric Person comes along. Whoa, here he comes! Here he comes with one of those ideas, right? So, shout out to Eric Person and the crew. This is a great update. You know, I, I know I myself. You know, I'm up sometimes at you know midnight, and I'm like, oh, I got an idea. I don't feel like booting up my DAW. I was doing in the morning. Now I don't have to do that. Now I can get this flow captured. And come and edit it inside of my dog just like you saw here and like I said you can even drive this MIDI file into another VST if you want to like Omnisphere right so uh, fantastic update anyway I just want to do a quick video for you guys on that appreciate you peace